So one of the perks about being a real estate photographer is that you can come home and edit anywhere, even in your new recliner couch. But today we're gonna to be taking a look at how to edit a small kitchen, dark cabinets, where to pop your flashes, how to use your ambient layer. Let's get into Lightroom right now and check it out. All right, so here we are in Lightroom and here's that small kitchen with this tungsten uh, lighting up top, these dark cabinets, really small space. And again, some, the reason why I wanted to show this one in particular, not because it's super fancy, you know, doing the white walls, white ceiling, white kitchen cabinets, that's super easy. You barely even need flash for some of those. Just, a, you know, your ambient layer and window pull a lot of times would actually make it look amazing. But here we don't even have windows. So we have natural light coming from behind behind us this is what the it looks like behind me so we have tungsten lighting here that's not helping the situation and we also have this big window that's trying to put light in but it's not really so the only way to shoot this evenly is we're just gonna have to flash it everywhere so again my method if you've seen any of my other tutorials is the ambient layer flash pop above the camera right flash pop left flash pop and then any other rooms that you need just pop a flash and a lot of times whatever your shutter speed was for these flash pops you just leave it there and go and start walking around so I just went up the stairs and popped a flash just to light this right here because the ambient layer didn't really help us a lot we just want to do that just in case okay so look at this we got horrible color I will say as I was on that Olympus EM1 Mark II with the 9 to 18, which is an 18 millimeter, that's the widest that lens will go. You can't really tell, but I'm using the Godox V1 with that CLMC15 or whatever, however you say it. So well, the first thing I want to do is get all my settings. We're going to change the profile to standard. That just helps to redu reduce a lot of the saturation that's built into that color profile. I want to drop my highlights down. I'm going to leave it as shot for now. I'll show you why in a second. Shadows, we're going to bump those up a little bit. And that's basically it. The color profile, because the um, it all, uh, Lightroom already recognized it, I don't have to mess with that. I'm going to mess with the verticals and getting my horizontals and everything after the fact. So, I want to copy these settings so it'll go quicker. And now I can do try to color correct that we had white ceiling so that worked ambient layer I'm not gonna worry about getting a perfect white balance which is nice about doing the flaming method because we're gonna just take the light or the luminance from the ambient layer that's where we're gonna use luminosity mode so we've already got the settings in let's move to this one now this is a flash pop above the camera we'll paste those settings in and we can brighten this up don't worry about under exposing your flash shots I mean you don't want to be too underexposed but I've gone I can pull my uh, exposure up by two stops two and a half stops a lot of times and it still looks good all right let's go to our right flash pop and notice now because I'm using that um, that Godox diffuse diffuser diffuser that I get an, a softer spread on that ceiling so it's gonna be easier to blend us out of this so really what I'm doing right now is I'm focusing on pretty much this side of the room, the left side of the room. Not going to worry about the right side, obviously, because I'm standing there. I can't use this. So when you're shooting, make sure you're aware of that, okay? You want to get your flash, uh, pop your flash in a way that you're lighting the opposite side. And just and if the room's big, just break it up into sections, but we'll get into that in another tutorial. Okay, here we are. Let's paste our settings in here. And we can bring that exposure up, focusing on this part of the room. And again, the stairwell is going to be lit with this one. We'll still paste our settings in. And we can bring that exposure up. Not too much. I'm only worried about this triangle right here. That's it. Okay, so now let's highlight all these by holding down Command and clicking on them. Right click, edit in, open as layers in Photoshop. All layers have been loaded into Photoshop. Let's just do a quick auto alignment here okay so what we want to do is let's work on we want a clean ceiling so what I want to check out right now okay we have shadows here and this is mainly why I did a right and left composite because I wanted to make sure I had even flash and then we'll 
bring back in some of that natural light with that ambient layer. So we did this flash pop and then this flash pop. And again, trying to hide those shadows here could be an issue. So this is what I wanna do. We're gonna make sure that we have a nice clean ceiling layer because really the only um, shadow issues that I'm concerned about is this light. But I don't like to leave, I don't like to use the ambient layer for this particular one because the lights are too blown out. So what I wanna do is just for this uh, example, we're going to command J to duplicate the um, the ambient layer and let's bring that ambient layer all the way down to the bottom so it's sitting at the bottom. We're going to hover over that and we're going to come up here to filter and then camera raw filter. I'm going to show you why. We're going to take and bring those highlights down maybe the shadows up a little bit maybe dropping that exposure just a little bit okay so now we can use this for a natural not all of it but some of it to hide some of those shadows that are just peeking through and you'll see what I'm talking about at the end of this edit so we'll just hit okay and now our copy layer is the one we can just toggle that off we'll bring that up to the top at the very end alright so what we want to do first is get to our right and left composite and make merge those two images into one image so let's toggle off the ambient layer. Let's toggle off the flash shot above the camera. And now we have these two. So we're gonna highlight the top one, use a layer mask, command I to invert, and then come over here to our gradient tool. Select that. You have black is selected. Make sure white is selected over here. Normal for the mode and then opacity at 100. And then click somewhere where the hotspot ends, right about there and click and pull. And that's it. And so we got a nice even blend here. And this is what I want to talk about. This is how we're going to fix this to make the ceiling look natural because obviously this lighting here, there probably wouldn't be shadows here. But what we're going to do now is just highlight both of these, right click, and then merge layers. And now we have that layer merged into one layer. So now what we can do is bring up our hallway shot and we're going to change that to lighten mode and if we toggle that on and off this is why I love lighten mode because you don't need to run with any other flashes you just need the one flash and by turning that into lighten mode it makes that part of the image only using the light the brightest part of the image okay so now let's turn on our flash pop above the camera and turn that to lighten mode also and that brightened up the foreground but it did it too much and this is where changing working with the opacity will really help you so even at 50% it's just enough to brighten that up and now we can turn on our ambient layer and again let's turn this to luminosity mode notice how how blue that is watch if we do luminosity mode it's just gonna give the color behind so really what we're doing is we're just using the luminance but it's picking up the color from the flash layer underneath. That's why I love to do the multiple flash pops because we have a nice clean even flash layer and then we're just introducing that the light, the natural light from that ambient layer by using luminosity mode. And now what we can do is take, and I like to play with the opacity because we don't need, obviously we're not going to leave it at 100%. That'd be, we literally would not need our, any of our flash layers if you're just going to leave this like that but we can bring that down to 50% or whatever looks good for you and there we go so that's all flash blended and that's with 50% of the ambient blended now we can fix this ceiling by bringing up our copy of the light or the ambient layer and again let's turn that to loom actually you know what let's not turn it to luminosity mode because look it makes those shadows um, orange sometimes luminosity will do that so let's leave it normal and just create a layer mask and command I to invert that white is selected take our brush tool and I gotta change that to this pattern soft by using our right bracket on the keyboard making that bigger and now we can oops we want the flow at like five percent and so we can just start brushing back in and 
And because we brought that exposure down, it's not going to be blown out. And there we go. So if we toggle that on and off, that looks a lot better. What we can do also is if that looks a little bit too dark, we can, I think if everything looks good here, which I like that, we can flatten this image. I like to command J to duplicate it. Oops. And we can come over here to our dodge tool. And again, our exposure, 20%. We can bring that to like 10. And just start dodging, upping that exposure on that ceiling a little bit. Try not to do the lights too much because we don't want to overexpose them. But there we go. And we toggle that on and off. There. And if that feels like you did it too much, work with that opacity so it looks a little more natural. And there. Okay, one more thing we can do. Actually, we're going to do that. We could delete our um, tripod legs out of the uh, reflection in the stove, but we'll do that really fast, faster in Lightroom. So let's flatten this image. Command S to save it. And I'm going to hit it with my interior final bump 2. And really what I did is bring those blacks down. I'm going to hold Option on my keyboard. We can adjust where those blacks start clipping. You can see that. That's why I like that. Maybe bring those shadows up again. And now what we can do is zoom in so we can see what we're working on. Take this little Band-Aid tool here. Make sure the eraser is selected. And just highlight over that and let off. And it does a really good job usually of deleting items. And then click on this to click out of that. There we go. But there you go, guys. Uh, leave me any comments if you have any questions. Hit that thumbs up button for me or hit the thumbs down button twice. And make sure to hit the subscribe button. We got tutorials coming out all the time. Thanks for watching.